Welcome back, Ubotters. Because Ubot was designed with automating the web in mind, you can grab certain functions that make things like browsing web pages and creating accounts simpler. A function is simply a way of getting information about your bot, the page you're on, your computer, or anything else you need. For example, the URL function returns the URL address of the current page. There are dozens of these sorts of shortcuts built in. All functions are clearly labeled with a dollar sign so that you can distinguish them from parameters and commands. Let's go through how to use them. We're going to go back to our playground page at ubotstudio.com slash playground slash simpleform dot ASPX. We're going to drag in our username field. And instead of typing something manually in this time, we're going to drag the account data function. It asks us what kind of data we want to place. We're going to say username. Click OK, click OK. And when we run this, we see that it's actually chosen a username for us at random. It does this by putting random words together. The username it chose is Noxious Road 75. That sounds quite unpleasant. Let's try it again. Let's go ahead and delete this. Drag over our first name, account data, and this time we're going to go with the first name. Click OK, click OK, run it, and this time it gives us Tracy. Excellent. Let's see what else we can do with functions. This time let's drag in the about me. Let's go down to document functions and drag over our URL. But maybe we don't want our URL to be lonely. Why don't we say the current URL is and a colon. We hit OK and we hit run and you can see that it puts the text we want, the current URL is, and then it puts the current URL. So this is useful because it means that you can mix text with functions quite arbitrarily. Let's delete this and try it again. This time I want to read a file from my documents folder and put the text into the about me section. So let's go to the read file function, drag it over. And now it wants me to choose a file. Now I could click the browse button and that would give me a file chooser. And I could navigate through windows and find the exact path to the file I want. Now I don't want to do that. I want it to be flexible so that if I send this to somebody else, it's going to look in their documents folder and not the exact path that I have on my computer. So instead of clicking browse, I'm going to go to special folder. and select My Documents. Now that's going to give me the path to My Documents folder. Then I'm going to put a backslash test.txt. And this is a file that I created earlier for the sake of this demonstration. If you don't have it, you can create it so that you can follow along. I'm going to click OK. Click OK again. And when I run this, you can see it outputs the contents of that text file. It says, hello from test.txt. Now you see over here that it only shows the read file function. If I double click this, then it expands and I can see everything else inside of it. Now there are a lot of functions and we don't have time to go over them all. But there's one more thing I'd like to show you. Let's go to ubotstudio.com slash playground. That gives us our list of playground forms. Let's go to the CAPTCHA form. I want to fill this CAPTCHA into the field here. So I'm going to drag this field over and it gives me the selector for the text box automatically. And for text to type, I want to put the CAPTCHA. So how do we do that? Well, we have a function under browser functions. We're going to drag in solve CAPTCHA. All right, now it wants to know which CAPTCHA to solve. So we're going to click our element selector and 
and select this image right here. Now I want you to notice it says captcha.jpg question mark ID equals and then a random number. Now we don't want it to go by this exact string because if we did it's going to be different every time and that's going to mess us up. So what we can do is click our advanced editor and we talked about how to do this in the last tutorial so if you need to feel free to go back and review that but we're just going to go to source going to snip off that random number there and replace it with an asterisk then go to wildcards we're going to add this to our selector click OK and now we have a much better selector we're going to click OK again and click OK again now when we run this a window pops up that has our CAPTCHA in it and we can type it in Now in a later lecture, we're going to talk about how we can actually use CAPTCHA services to outsource these CAPTCHAs so we don't have to type them in manually, but rather somebody else in some other country somewhere can type them in for us for roughly three-tenths of a cent. But for now, you can see that it entered the CAPTCHA that we typed into the field, and we could repeat this over and over and over if we needed to and have consistent results every time. And that's it for this tutorial. As you can see, we've created the functions in UBOT Studio to make your life easier as an internet marketer and a web automator. There's a lot of stuff in here to make your life much easier in your automating adventures. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.